guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean, creator of Zarya's Creations and I am here to showcase this new Simplicity Vintage Planner Kit. Now I know you're probably thinking, why are we talking about planner kits in September? The year is almost over. But Simplicity just dropped this fantabulous bomb on us that we just have to get the information out there. You are definitely going to want this planner. So here I only have two pieces of the collection. I have the actual planner and then I have the notebook or journal, however you may wish to call it. And each item is, um, the planner is $39.99 and the notebook is $7.99. Now I did get the planner using the coupon at Hobby Lobby, which gave me 40% off. So the planner actually totaled out to be $23.99 using the coupon, and then I paid the regular price for the planner. Now let's get into it. Now I am a planner girl. I actually have two other planners that I use. I use a Faith Planner here from the Happy Planner Collection, as well as a regular planner that I use, um, also from the Happy Planner Collection. But now this sewing planner is the bomb. It is bomb. So for every seamstress, you are definitely gonna want to add this to your collection of planners. It is dedicated to the sewing role and sewing projects that you may have coming up. So let's get stitching. First thing you'll see inside is a collection of stickers that they have created for the Vintage Planner. Now you can use these as well as using the stickers from the Happy Planner collection, which comes in packaging like this from your local Michaels store. They also sell these stickers from the collection separately as well. Then we have some plastic folders here in the front that look like baseball cards. This first one here actually has a bigger bottom than the upper two. What I will probably use these for is to insert pictures of my sewspirations that I wish to tackle later on in the year. They have an open pocket here where you can slip it in. So I'll probably just print them out on a computer, just put it in there so that I can keep track of things that I want to make throughout the year. They give you three of those plastic folders and then you actually have a zipper pocket here. They have an ID page of who the sewing planner belongs to. This is where you can either staple or glue your business card or just write your name and your contact information. I do not plan to lose mine, but I definitely will attach that information for the future. Now we have here, this is showing us a three year calendar on this side, starting with 2018. This is what leads me to believe that they just dropped this calendar out, maybe to see how well it would pick up or how fast the news would get out that this planner was out. And um, they intend for it to start in 2018. Myself, however, do not know if I can wait that long to start using this planner. I loved it from my very first eye drop. I saw this planner being videoed on Andrea's YouTube page, Sew to Fit. I'll leave a link in the description bar down below so that you can run over there and watch her video and hear what she has to say about it. And ever since then, I have been on a hunt to find it. Now, I believe she bought hers from Joanne Fabrics. She lives a little bit south than I do in the States. I live towards the north in the state of Pennsylvania. Our Joanne Fabrics here did not actually carry the planner. I found it in another state, New Jersey, at a Hobby Lobby. And when I found it, they only had one in stock. They had some other items for the collection, but they only had one planner in New Jersey, and then they had another planner out in Exton. Each is about an hour away from me. It is definitely worth the trip to get. On to our reference section. We have a glossary of terms that are very much needed in our sewing world, so you definitely want to learn these. I'm sure they picked out the most important words that you would need as a beginner seamstress. Then we have our planner basic sheet, some hacks and tips, 
some fiber facts different types of fabric that you may be using they have some notes how to care for these fabrics all in one spot which is great you don't have to google it it's right here right for you in your planner then they have a measurement chart according to simplicity guidelines as well as some basic guide to fit and how to measure an actual person that you're about to sew for on to our projects don't you just love these neat covers they actually have the pattern number listed on here as well as these discs make it so easy to take these cover sheets off and on the flip side of them is actually another design so you can actually flip it you can alternate they're easy to go on easy to snap in you can flip it if you like It'll still tell you what section that you're in, and you can move on. But I actually like the patterns that they have placed on the cover sheet. So I'll just leave it there. In your pattern section, you will find a couple of sheets to start off your projects. Here it says beautiful one, beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. So it gives you a place to put the description of your project, the date you started, the pattern number, the supplies that you'll need, what alterations you did to this pattern, and the notes that you need to record for your project, whichever swatches that you um, would like to put that pertain. If you're using more than one type of fabric, you can put it here and then things to do. On the flip side, you have your grid, which you can put your sketches, your notes, and your inspirations pertaining to this project. And then we have a measurement chart. They have made this so simple and so easy to use. They give you a guide. They have numbers here listed at the major places of measurement that you wanna measure for your client or for yourself. And you can actually document it right here. You put the name and the date right up there so you know when you did your last measurements. That is very, very important. And then you can make, make a list of the patterns that you use for this client or use for yourself or that you own. I can't really say that I own because I own more patterns than this list will allow um, for me. But if it's for a specific person, this would be great. If it's for somebody who I repeatedly would sew for, which I do not, I, I can make a list right here. So they give us a couple of these sheets. And I'm hoping that this is not just for the anniversary special, that they will actually sew these sheets separately um, come 2018 or 2019, that they will actually create more of these and sell them separately. Our next section, section is the swatches. Here again on the cover, we have another pattern that is listed here, a nice decorative back cover. And then we have our swatch library. I love this, but I'm also concerned because once you start putting your swatches here on the various pages, that it's gonna start making your, your planner a little thick. Now, I love the idea of this. I think it's very much needed. You're able to document your yardage, the width, the brand, the source, the fabric care, whether you pre-washed it, and any notes. I definitely will be carrying this, especially when I go to the different fabric stores, um, so that I can get that information off the bolt that I would need and document it and have it here for reference. But I may actually move these to the back so that the front part is not um, bulky or the middle part is not bulky but I um, may use it at the back some people use index cards and I hate to cut this up to put it on an index card um, but because this is very definitely very much needed in our sewing world I'm just afraid that it's just gonna make our book a little thick now we're on to the calendar I love this picture I love her hair I love the glasses I love the look this is very very vintage most definitely we have the pattern number here again 
And then as we go into our monthly calendar, each section is already labeled for us. I did not have to put any labels on here. So January through December is already labeled. Each month has its own cover sheet. So what I will do is I will go through January in detail and then I will just flip through the rest of the month so that you can see what the cover sheets look like. So this is January. January starts us off with some tips, our monthly goals, our notes and ideas, our birthdays, holidays and events, our purchases and our good finds. I will probably use this for the month to date out when patterns are going on sale like at Joann's or Hobby Lobby or even some of the other places that I shop online. I'll probably just have one spot where I'll put those at so that I can easily catch a glance. Holidays and events that I may need to sew for, I'll list them here and then whoever birthdays who I may want to do something for. Our next page is the 30 day view. This is where you can use some of the stickers that we saw in the front or from the Happy Planner. These are undated as you can see. So you can date them as you start your year and start your planner, adding your notes over to the side. And then you go into your weekly planner. Now this I love. My other planners are done in a vertical format, but I rather write in a horizontal format. I can do more with it. And what I will actually do and use my weekly for it is to document my social media. Here I'll be able to document and plan my YouTube videos, my Instagram postings, my blogs that I'm going to post for the month. I can jot down my titles, my subjects, what I want to talk about and just have it all right here per week. And we have five of these for each month. You can use these however way you want, but social media is what I am actually using mine for. And my monthly calendar, I will actually use to place when I am starting projects and what patterns I'm using for those projects. So I have a little different view. At the end of the month, we have a section where we can put our notes and then we're on to the next month. Each month has a picture of the collection along with the pattern number that you can see in color, very vintage, and then we go on. Again, each month has tips to remind you of things such as Valentine's is coming, don't forget to start sewing for your Valentine, the month is the same on the inside for the weeks, at the end again, we're back at our notes, and then we're to our next month, which is March. Cute little sayings like you, you never know what you had until you clean your craft room, Again, with the pattern numbers at the end. Then we have for March, March is National Craft Month. Did you do a lot of sewing? Remind you to sharpen your scissors, to clean your machine. All great tips that we will need and we may forget. Simplicity has placed it right before our eyes. How awesome is this? Rainy days for sewing, we're into April. You had to know that from the rainy days. So we have pictures of some coats that they have in the line. It reminds us that Mother's Day is a month away. Start sewing our gifts, that weddings are coming up. So we need to start sewing for that. The color changes in here. The colors are awesome. I love the colors that they have in here. And look at May. Sewing forever, housework whenever. We all know that this is the seamstress motto. The house, a clean house means that there is no sewing being done. So if the house is a mess and the house is unruly, you know we're working and we're busy. May reminds us to sew something special for mom, reminds us that Mother's Day is coming up as well as Father's Day. So they want you to get on the ball to make sure you get your planning done. Then we're on to our June. Our summer months, already the summer dresses are coming out. Sometimes a girl just gotta sew. Reminds us that the days are getting longer, that Father's Day is coming up, graduations are coming up. So it just gives you an idea to start your planning for the month. Some tips that you would need that are very important. 
July is never too hot to sew cool things. More patterns for us. Reminds us to check our fabric stash. Tells us what to do with our leftovers. That tank top, shorts, and easy totes are a great way to use up smaller yardages. To look for our autumn catalog. On to some more sewing projects for the summer. We have our bathing suits here. Our vintage bathing suit patterns. They actually have 9321 for August. Reminds us about our beach bags, our water, our sunscreen. Then we're on to September. Happiness is a full bobbin. September is National Sewing Month. This is awesome. This is great for a reminder. Reminds us about back to school shopping, getting our new fabrics, time to get serious about our fall sewing. And this pattern here, I believe was already out. Um, I believe I made that pattern and I actually have this in my pattern collection. October is best dressed girlfriends forever. These dresses are so cute. I definitely have to get that into my collection. Then we have our October tips, our Halloween patterns for our fall. Check the labels carefully for handling and care instructions before cutting and sewing. Very, very, very much important. We can use our swatch sheet for that. Then on to November, my favorite month. To sew or not to sew, what's a silly question? Our November tips remind us about the holidays that are coming up, reminds us about entertainment and special handcraft decor that we may be making. And then we're on to the last month of the year, which is December, so elegant. The great thing also about this planner is that by it being disc bound, you can actually take out sections and move them. Like here, this is the month of September. I'm not sure if I'm going to start in September or just wait to October 1st to start, but I can take January through September and place it at the end of the planner kit and just start my year from October, giving me the rest of the year to use in order. From there, I can move my plastic folders all around if I want to interchange my cover sheets and have the calendar facing forward, the three year calendar. I can do that with ease. I'll be able to utilize my 365 labels with this as well. There's more items in the collection and I'll show that at the end of the video that we have here, but I only grabbed the planner as well as the notebook journal um, for the start. Hopefully they will release these in bulk as it gets closer to the end of the year so definitely check out your um, nearest fabric stores like Joann's or Hobby Lobby or you can go right to the website at www.simplicity.com you can go right there and purchase your items until then don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on the blog at www.zarias creations.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Happy sewing and planning.